You know, I was just gonna say, ever since November 1st, I've been in ever since Halloween, ever since the day Halloween got over, ever since the minute Halloween got over, I've been really, really itching to do something Christmassy around town. Um, uh, hold on real quick. We come alive. We come alive in the night time. Something about how we dance in the moon. Like I look in your eyes and tells me that you want me and all my loving. We come alive in the night time. You and I, we come alive. Let's Google. Fun things to do in North Idaho winter. Okay, we got it. impressions of the party space. This is really nice. And they've got all these like lights in here and tables and they've got like a lounge area over there. But this is really cute. How adorable. And at night this will be so like just cute with all the lights and everything that will be lit up. And these igloos. Those are nice. Those are really nice. It's like a like it's like a lounge area. They've got like couches and Adirondack chairs. There's a fireplace in there. That's really cute. I've done these igloos before at the resort, and these are seem a little roomier, but also more comfortable. Like you're in your living room. Yeah. And this is really nice. They just did the Zamboni. This is cool. I'm glad they brought this to Coeur d'Alene. And there's a fire pit right here. And a snack shack. Okay. Definitely, definitely coming back with more people and at night to get hot cocoa and hang out in one of these or next to the fire pit. This is cool. I think we should go buy a ticket and find some skates to rent and try it out, okay? How's it going? Good. I'm into skate right now? Yes. So we just got approval to go in and watch them sharpen some skates. So let's go take a look. Uh, walkers there. I'm just watching these girls here. Watch. She's gonna do some twirl. Look. Look at that. 
not that good. <laughs> I'll work on it though, okay? Woo. Woo. How do you do that? The spin. Do you just like dig one of the tips in and kind of let it take you? come back another time or two, I'll be like a pro at that point in time. This is the first time on skates in like 15 years. So I'd give myself like a four and a half out of 10 on effort and um, style. Yeah. So I just ordered a cider, a hot cider, and a bean and pie, cherry, or excuse me, berry hand pie. And um, I learned also that wake up call is here in the truck on the weekends from 10 to 2. But this place is open every single day, essentially from 3.15 to 8.15. And then um, 10 to 10, um, the week of Thanksgiving, 10 to 10, the week of Christmas, and the week of New Year's. So um, you can buy tickets online ahead of time. You can buy them here. But I would assume the busier it gets closer to the holidays, it's probably better to just get those tickets ahead of time online. And you also have to sign a waiver, and you can do that ahead online as well. But that's at cdaonice.com slash tickets. How did these gentlemen learn how to skate? Like figure skate, not like hockey skating where they're racing around a rink, but like jumps and twirls and things like that. And I don't know anyone who I grew up with who knows how to figure skate like that. I've always wanted to be a figure skater. The fact that they opened up an ice skating rink here in town for the holiday season uh, was definitely something I wanted to go and check out. And I was not disappointed. I was actually very impressed by the setup there. And I had heard that this was coming to town. It was supposed to be here last year and COVID, of course. And I'm familiar with the skating ribbon over in Spokane, but we don't really have this over here. And we have an ice skating rink, but it's more like for hockey and lessons and other things. It's not like, I don't think they do Christmas events or anything there, but this ice skating rink um, is specifically a holiday thing. Highly recommend this activity. It is not only, I think, great for a date night, but great for a group of friends, great for families. Um, there were people of all ages out there. So um, this has been an awesome addition to the activities that we can do here in the winter time. Um, and it just kind of solidifies this kind of cute little mountain town um, image that you know we kind of have up here that I think people really enjoy and that draws them here. Okay, now that we've explored one holiday activity, I wanna take you to the next stop on the holiday activity tour, and we're gonna jump over to the resort and the marina, and we're gonna hop on a cruise, and we're gonna go see Santa at the North Pole. It's the best time of the year. Counting on the days to you, I'm near. It's the best time of the year. With you right here. We are here at the resort shops, and we are getting ready to go visit Santa at the North Pole. Yes, that Santa at his house at the North Pole 
He is so generous with his time during this busy season of the year. And so we're gonna get in line over here. We're gonna go check it out. So come on. Wait, <laughs> she said spike stuff like this with her eyebrows. Sorry, sorry, hold on. The spike stuff? <laughs> um, wait, so what's the spike stuff? The spike stuff, so it comes with uh, the hot chocolate, uh, Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Can I also put some of those toppings on it, though? Okay, cool. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. It's good. Definitely, it is an adult beverage. It's the best time of the year. Counting on the days to you, I'm near. It's the best time of the year. With you right here, with you right here, it's the best time. We just loaded on the boat. You come down and there's like a million lights out here. We're gonna see even more as we head out, but we're gathering ourselves, getting some hot cocoa. Everyone's loading the boat and it's gonna take off here soon and we'll get to check out the show. But for right now, we're just getting settled before everything starts. Nothing like a little Kenny G to set the mood. Here in North Idaho, we have a community that's really invested, I think, in experiences. And we have all, you know, because we're a resort town and we rely so much on tourism, um, there's always kind of something going on, whether it's downtown, over in Post Falls. Um, there's always some sort of Christmas activity. I think that the ice rink and the Santa Cruz kind of embody just the whole spirit of Christmas and that's kind of why I wanted to showcase these for you guys there's just this very like magical um, sense to it all especially I think for kids um, and at night um, it's just getting y'all ramped up and all excited for the holiday season so I'm glad you guys could um, join us today hopefully you really enjoyed these experiences I want you to get out there and do these things for yourself Go ahead and if you enjoyed this content, like the video. If you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe. And if you have questions about CDA on Ice or the Santa Cruises, make the comments below and we'll make sure to get you your answers. But thanks for joining us. We'll see you the ne next time. Sorry, thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next adventure here in North Idaho. And um, hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> Who's ready to party? Sorry. I have things in my head that I like, I'm like bullet points, like, hey, touch on this, 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 and this. And then like, when it comes out of my mouth, it's like, Meh.